So in this video, we're going to convert grams of O2, that's diatomic oxygen, sometimes called oxygen gas, to molecules. And we'll use the mole map here to do that. We'll also look at conversion factors. So starting off, we have grams. We have 3.5 grams of this oxygen gas, O2. And if we want to get to molecules, we can't go directly to molecules. We need to first convert the grams to moles. Once we have that, then we can get to particles, which are molecules, atoms, ions. So we need to get the grams to moles. And we can do that by dividing by the molar mass of O2. And we get that from the periodic table. If you need help, there's a link at the end of the video on calculating molar mass. So here's how we do the grams to moles for 3.5 grams of O2. So the molar mass for O2, that's 32.0 grams. So essentially, we have our 3.5 grams from the problem. We just made that up for the problem. We divide that by 32 grams. We get our moles. If you use conversion factors, it's kind of nice because when you multiply the top, divide by the bottom, grams cancel out. We're left with moles. Either way, you'll get 0.11 moles. So to recap, grams divide by the molar mass. That gets you moles. From moles, we then multiply by Avogadro's number. That'll get us molecules like this. And again, I have it set up with conversion factors, but you're just multiplying 0.11 times 6.02 times 10 to the third, and you get 6.6 .6 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of O2. Again, the nice thing about conversion factors, moles are going to cancel out, so we know we did this right. So that's it. This is Dr. B converting 3.5 grams of O2 to molecules. Thanks for watching.